Welcome back. We're trying a little bit higher production quality for this video, so let us know in the comments how we did. All right, so the Polar Printer. We had some questions asked about at Earth and some post-Earth questions too. It's a five motor printer, two Z axis extruder, the, uh, radian and theta. The, for the theta motor, it's probably the most important motor to get right, uh, you need a belt reduced stepper driver. Currently in the files on GitHub, it's a NEMA 23, but we can, we're going to remix it down to a NEMA 17 because you don't need that much motor to make this work. In this one here, we have a NEMA 17 with a planetary gear reduction stepper. Now while that works, it doesn't work great because there's a little bit of backlash in the planetary gear system. This is a 100 to 1. If you're going to go with a planetary gear system, I'd recommend using a 25 to 1 or even a 5 to 1 reduction stepper just because the 100 to 1 is just so slow. We are using a computer ATX power supply, a Raspberry Pi as Octoprint server, and a, Marlin, a ramps board running Marlin. Now as far as Marlin goes, we have our own custom fork of Marlin running on this, which again is in GitHub. But what you can do is there's another release of Marlin that apparently works better that has been around for longer that I'd recommend you try because this is an old fork of Marlin for a SCARA printer that we've modified. Homing for the radian doesn't work. Um, what we've been doing is positioning it over the bolt head and using G29, X0, Y0. The Z-homing does work for the Z-home switch. Uh, the bed is made out of a floppy piece of brass that we bought on Amazon, which we'll link in the video description, covered in painter's tape. The, there are three options for building the base of this printer. One, which is using a 3D printed pipe base, motor mount, and theta spindle pipe, a spindle bolt, uh, which is, like I said, the recommended way of doing things. Uh, the next option is with a full 3D printed base. And the fourth option is what we did here because we ran out of time, which is a 3D printed pipe capture, a 3D printed motor mount, and a 3D printed wire motor mount over here. Now for the wire motor mount over here, you need to be careful because if you sharpen your pipe to reduce the burrs, you can cut into the wires going through the frame. If you have any questions or comments, please send them in the video description below. Thank you very much. Bye.